Star Wars The Old Republic just released their sixth major expansion, and with that came the return to the old-style gearing where you had to do the hardest content to get the best gear. However, the systems in place for acquiring and upgrading that gear are something of a convoluted mess, but fear not, my friends, I'm here to help. With just a little clarification on exactly what's going on, you'll be increasing your gear score with ease. And stick with me to the very end of this video because I'm going to give you a tip that will likely save you tens of millions of credits, if not a lot more, while upgrading all this awesome new gear. So first things first, this new system is something of a hybrid of the old style where gear drop scores were based on the difficulty of the content and the more recent style where gear drop scores were based on the current average gear score. Killing bosses or completing PvP matches and missions will still always drop randomized personal gear for you. It's what quality of gear that drops and how you go about upgrading those pieces that is really different. So we're going to start with PvP as it is by far the most straightforward. You can either buy green quality gear with a 316 rating directly from the PvP gear vendor in the combat training section of the fleet, or turn in weekly PvP missions that will give you a crate containing a random piece of 320 PvP gear. You can then upgrade any of those pieces all the way up to 326 with a purple item quality. It's as simple as that. If PvP is your bag and you have no interest in master mode level rating, this is your one and only other way to get purple quality gear. Moving on to PvE, this is where the system starts getting pretty confusing. To start with, there is Conquest gear. This gear is green rarity and starts at gear score 320 and can be purchased from the Conquest gear vendor in the supply section of the fleet. You'll know a piece of Conquest gear when you see it by its name, Noble Decurion. Once purchased, each piece can be upgraded to a gear score of 326, but it remains only green rarity. This gear is intended mostly for solo players who pretty much only do heroics and dailies. It's also a great entry just to have some gear because it's cheap and readily available. However, if you're the type who never groups with other players for anything, this is your top end gear. The good news is that if you upgrade this gear all the way and augment it, you will plow through all those dailies and heroics like it's nothing. Next up, we have Flashpoint gear. This gear is of green or blue rarity. Gear that drops from each boss in veteran mode Flashpoints will be green. Bear the name Elite Decurion and will be a gear score 320. You can trade those pieces in along with some other materials that also drop in flashpoints and upgrade them all the way to 324, still green quality. Gear that drops from each boss in master mode flashpoints is 320 gear score, but with a blue rarity and can be upgraded to gear score of 326 with the very cool name Supreme Decurion. This is the top of the line gear for people who run flashpoints as the main way they play the game. And it's actually on par with the best gear available to those who do veteran mode operations. It might be a little bit more of a slow road to get there, but having a full set of augmented Supreme Decree on gear at item level 326 will make you quite formidable. And last, we have operation gear. In my opinion, the most convoluted of the gearing tracks we currently have. To start off, you have Tyanese gear. These pieces drop from story mode operation bosses. They have a green item rarity and start at gear score 320. And they can only be upgraded to 322. This is just intended to get you started with some base level gear. Then we move on to vet mode operations. These bosses drop a 320 rating gear as well, but with a blue rarity called Columni and can be upgraded to 326. This is the gear that is actually on par with master mode flashpoint gear. And then last, each boss you kill in a master mode operation will drop a piece of the top gear in the game called Ricotta. This gear is purple rarity. It starts out at a gear score of 320 and can be upgraded all the way to 330. Easily the best gear available in the game right now, but also the hardest to get. I will note here that Ricotta accessory gear, that means implants, earpieces, relics, uh, that gear can drop from some vet mode operation bosses, and it seems the chance goes up when you're doing newer operations with harder bosses. And that's it. That's all the places that you can acquire gear in SWOTOR's 7.0 expansion. Before I get out of here, I did promise you guys a tip that would save you millions, didn't I? When you upgrade a piece of gear to the next gear score, 
you are effectively trading in the piece that you have, whether it's in your inventory or equipped on you for the upgraded version that the vendor is going to give you. So if you have an augment attached to a piece of gear that you're trading in, you're going to lose that augment. It disappears into the ether. So take your augment out of your gear before upgrading the pieces. Also, as of this recording, there is no new tier of crafting in this expansion, which means no new augments. So all of your gear from the previous expansion that you had already had augmented, make sure you remove those augments before destroying or selling that gear because those augments are still best in slot. And that's really all I've got for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and happy gear hunting.